Say what is going on everyone, Void Hunter here and welcome to today's video. Today's video we have something different, in fact, something completely different to this channel. I'm going to be starting a new mini-series where I do a tutorial on how to create specific characters in Xenoverse 2. Today's video we are going to be doing Golden Cooler, specifically Transformable Golden Cooler. Now there's plenty of people out there who have probably done videos like this before, but I'd like to think that I can do better, or that I can maybe improve on some other videos that do already exist. But without any further ado, let's get right on into this video. Alright, now jumping into the character selection screen, we're obviously going to want to choose the freezer race, considering we're going to be doing cooler. More specifically, we're going to also want to go with the highest maximum body type settings, highest height, biggest muscles. Because that is what Cooler is all about. Now heading into the head and hair settings, we're going to obviously want to choose the Super Cooler slash the Final Form Cooler headpiece, as that is the only way we're going to get that Final Form Golden Cooler set up. Nothing else quite like it. Heading into the eyes, see there's many different things that you could probably choose for this. I personally like to choose the ones that have the black outline as cooler at least in the cartoon animation style he has just a black i don't i don't want to say like a black face but he has like this weird dark piece in between his helmet and where his eyes meet where it doesn't seem like they actually gave him a skin cone color so i try to go with that try to get as close as i can to that with this uh go with a kind of a grayer kind of skin tone color to kind of fit what's in the game don't want it to be too white, as it won't look as authentic. And also try to give him basically the original Cooler's skin tone, that kind of pinkish, purplish tone that Freezer Race people tend to have. And also, important piece is to make sure that the gem slash crystallized pieces on him are like that blue, not the Frieza purple. Cooler is a little bit different than Frieza, so it's important that these are different. See, now getting into this little eye piece on the side, you could do like what I was saying earlier, where you could go with a more of just a straight black to try to get that thing that was in the animation, where it was all black. Or you could try to make it so it's more like his skin tone, or you could even try to match the white from his armor. Either one works here. I personally wanted to go with the the black with the black outline to get as close as I could to the anime slash the movie but your choice on that one there's going to be a few things on here that you could probably do yourself if you like better Getting into the next piece, now that we've caught up, we're going to do the ears. Now, there's technically two or three different types of ears that I think would work just fine. Uh, the base ones look great. Uh, these ones that look more like Cooler's fourth form also could work really nice, but I personally like the ones that come out just a little bit. I think that's the most authentic to the original Cooler design, as you can get, with what we have to work with. Getting into appearance with his voices and stuff i say with this one probably because there's not that many voices that really give you that same kind of echoey voice that cooler has so i think in my opinion voice either 10 or maybe like 14 will work then you can change these if you really want to the voice doesn't really matter because they don't have any long dialogues in this game so it's mostly just grunts but to go as close as I can, I think 14 was best for me. And for the name, I just went with Cooler with Dragon Ball Super in quotations and abbreviated. Now, I will see you guys when the character has been created. Welcome back guys to part 2. Now the character has been created, 
we can go with the actual costume design and skill loadout now I personally think the ultimate F suit is the best you're gonna get for a final form cooler I think it works really well with the gold after that the there's not really any accessories I'd put on this personally so I went with none to get the maximum authenticity to the feet I went with the base when there's nothing on the feet that way you get the base kind of look that he gets though if you want to get this is going to be where we're probably going to differ a bunch uh, if you want to get the gauntlets towards the bottom of his feet by his ankles I personally think either those are kind of an interchangeable piece or they're integral they're not as important in my opinion but uh, I went with these this uh, bottoms here that these will give you in my opinion the best you're gonna get overall for a cooler design is these bottom pants here these are called I think the Z warrior outfit this will be as close as you're gonna get in my opinion unless you wanna go with nothing on the bottom in which case I would say go with any of the leggings that you can color any of the changeable color of the leggings will work just fine for this just try to match the skin tone as close as you can and with that let's go to the skills now welcome back and now let's get into the skills so for me personally once I clear all these I think I have to go with Shadow Crusher, Death Crasher, Death Beam, or Death Slash. And then, personally, you could probably switch it up for either a Burst Charge or any of the other charges. Or you could go with anything like maybe Super Explosive Wave. Anything that kind of looks maybe like that move from Raging Blast 2, that Death Flash. Those would work pretty good. Honestly, any of Golden Frieza's skills would work pretty good. I went with Death Slash, but I think Death Beam would probably work best. And then for his ultimates, I would personally go with Supernova Cooler because obviously. And then for his final ultimate, Full Power Energy Wave again, so it looks more like that Death Flash ability that he had back in Raging Blast 2. And then for an evasive, I think that that one's pretty up in the air for me. I went with Super Explosive Wave because of that gold kind of aura it gives off when you explode. I think that one just works best in my opinion. And it's nice and close range and sends him in a tailspin move. But honestly there's a lot of pretty good evasives in this game so you don't have to stick with that one. That's just the one I went with. And now to finish off the creative process, I would say go with the best QQ bang you got. I say anything that gives you plus 5 in Key Blast Supers is a must. And as for ultimates, this one is again kind of up in the air. So I went with the classic cooler ultimate buffer, that being you and this planet are history. I think that's the most fitting one to give him. And with that, let's go into the showcase after I level him up so I can transform. If you think that was an authentic golden cooler, let me know down in the comments below. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.